This class will discuss about new transaction method algorithm. Case 1. For a 2 bus system with a slack bus and load bus or a PQ bus. First step, set the calculator in gradient mode and form Y bus matrix. Step 2, initialize the bus voltages. Step 3, calculate real power and reactive power using static load flow equations. Step 4, calculate specified real power and reactive power. In case of load bus or a PQ bus, real power generation and reactive power generation are zero. Step 5, calculate change in real power, change in reactive power. Change in real power is real power specified minus real power calculator. Change in reactive power is specified reactive power minus calculated reactive power. Step 6, form Jacobian matrix. Step 7, calculate change in delta 2, change in modulus of V2. Step 8, calculate first iteration value. That is old value plus the difference. Similarly, del modulus of V2, first iteration value is old value plus the difference. Step 9, apply first iteration value and calculate again P2 and Q2. Step 10, check the convergence. If the values are converged, and stop the execution. Case 2 for a 2 bus system with a slack bus and a generator bus or a PV bus. Here the reactive power limit is given. A calculated reactive power is within the limits. How to proceed the problem? First step form Y bus matrix. Second step initialize the bus voltages. Third step calculate real power and reactive power using static load flow equations. Step 4. Calculate specified real power and reactive power value. Step 5. Check the calculated Q2 value. Calculated Q2 is within the limits. Bus 2 acts as a PV bus or generator bus. Sixth step. Calculate change in real power, change in reactive power. Bus 2 is a generator bus, the change in reactive power is 0, in the generator bus voltage is constant, V2 is constant. Seventh step form Jacobian matrix, it is a 2 by 2 matrix. Do P2 by Do del 2, Do Q2 by Do del 2, Do P2 by Do modulus of V2, Do Q2 by Do modulus of V2. This is 0, this is 0, this is 0. This is zero because Q2, del Q2 is equal to 0, V2 is a constant. Therefore, this is the Jacobian matrix. Eighth step, calculate change in delta 2, that is del P2 into inverse of this. Ninth step, we have to calculate the new delta 2, that is equal to delta 2 volt plus change in delta 2 volt. Tenth step, apply delta to new in the static load flow equation and repeat the procedure till the convergence is obtained. The next case, calculated Q2 is not within the limits. Step 1, form Y bus matrix. Step 2, initialize the bus voltages. Step 3, calculate P2 and Q2 using static load flow equations. Step 4, calculate specified P2 and Q2 value. Step 5, check the calculated Q2 value. Calculated Q2 is not within the limits. Bus 2 acts as a load bus or PQ bus. Assume B2 is equal to 1 plus J0 or 1 and 0. Calculate P2 and Q2. Step 6, calculate difference in P2 and difference in Q2. Step 7, form Jacobian matrix. You will get a 2 by 2 matrix. And step 8, calculate change in delta 2, change in modulus of P2. Step 9, find the new delta 2 and modulus of P2 new. Step 10, apply delta 2 new and delta modulus of V2 new in the static load flow equation and repeat the procedure till the convergence is obtained. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.